The equilibrium constant for the following reaction is 49 at 230 degrees Celsius. If we put 0.7 moles of PCl3 added to 0.7 moles of Cl2 in a one liter reaction vessel, what's the, re what's the concentration of PCl3 when equilibrium has been established? All right, so we are gonna set up an ice table using our concentrations, since I gave you a Kc. And we are gonna convert these into molarities when they go in there. Well, that's easy in this case, because I gave us one liter and the number of moles. So this is just 0.7 molar. This is 0.7 molar. And since it doesn't mention anything about the phosphorus tri or pentachloride, we assume it's none, which guarantees this is going forward. So at equilibrium, this would be 0 0.70 minus x, this will be 0 0.70 minus x, and this is just x. All right, so we have a K or a Q for this reaction of the concentration of PCL5 all over the concentration of PCL3 and Cl2. All right, when I plug in the 49, I get this horrible equation that would turn into a quadratic. All right, so whenever I see that, because this is going to be that whole thing that you have to foil, we're going to try to cheat, first of all. So I'm going to pretend like the x is really, really small and just use 0.7 and just say that these stay both at 0.7. Now, that's not realistic because we do have a pretty large k. So we are expecting this to go forward. We are expecting the x to be somewhat sizable. But this will get us um, a good example of why we should do this and why it won't work in this case. So I'm going to take that 49, multiply it by 0.7, and again by another 0.7. And this would give us an estimated x if it doesn't go forward very far. And a 24.01, there's no way that's right because this would have to be less than 0.7 for it to go forward at all. So um, the 24 is unrealistic, so that does mean we need to solve this thing fully. So I am going to go ahead and move uh, the 2.7 minus x is to one side. So it's a nice flat equation. And then I'm going to work these things in. I'm going to do that the foil part. So I'm going to start with that 49 times 0.7 times 0.7. And that gives me that 2401. And that's my first term. And now I'm going to do 49 times 0.7 times x and 49 times x and 0.7. Or actually, you know what? Rather than try to go crazy here, how about we just back up here. Instead of doing that, I'm going to foil the 0.7 minus x times 0.7 minus x. So 7 times 7 is 49, so this is going to be 0.49. And then we're going to have 0.7 plus 0.7x, so 1.4x, and then positive x squared. And then this would be equal to just x. And now I'm going to work this 49 in. So 49 times 0.49 is that 2401. And then 49 times 1.4 is 68.6. And then this would just be 49x squared. And I need to move this x over. So my full polynomial, and I'm going to actually rewrite it so it's going left to right, is 49x squared minus 69.6x. I dropped my x when I put that there. But that's because moving this over takes the 68 to a 69. And then positive 20. 4.01. That's my A term, my B term, and my C term. And we will plug that into a polynomial to get our x. And in this case, the x is not our answer. We'll have to do 0.7 minus our x. So let's get what our x is real quick. Oh. 
so. Let's see, B squared. Minus four times A times C so technically this value right here is my B squared minus 4 AC and I'm going to get the square root of this and I'm going to use that number so remember our quadratic equation negative B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Well, I just got that parentheses number. So I'm going to rewrite this thing right here so we have our two values to work with. So I have, ooh, nice pen. It's 11.76. So I'm going to write it as negative 69.6 plus or minus 11.76 all over 2 times A. So let's try it with positive 11.6 first. Oh great, I got that too low, don't I? That's okay, I can fix this. negative negative 69.6 minus 11.76 is this big number divided by 2 times 49 gives me this. Now I gotta fix that. My negative B I put down, I didn't make that negative. So this is actually a positive. Well, that's good. That would be what I get if I have negative negative. So I have a potential x of positive 0.83, which can't be possible because that would make this number negative. So I need to do positive and negative. All right, so 69.6 minus 11.76 gives me that. Divide this by 2 times 49 and we get a potential root of 0.59 and that will work here so our correct answer for the PCL3 is going to be 0.70 minus that 0.59